Today, I'm going to be talking about the digestive system. Your digestive system is the system that breaks down food, absorbs its nutrients, and removes the solid, or gas, or liquid waste from it. So it's basically taking in something, getting all of your required materials, then pushing it out. It's like a job, basically. <laughs> your digestive system is made up of two types of digestion, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is using mechanisms, muscles and movements. Shark, shark, or slice, slice, or <laughs> like that. Meanwhile, chemical digestion is digestion using chemicals, enzymes, hydrochloric acid, and other things. So like, like that. My personal favorite type of digestion is chemical digestion. It's the most abundant. Your digestive system is so complex that I'm actually going to split these into a series. Series on digestion. Three videos. The first video I'm going to be talking about the mouth, your esophagus, and your stomach. The second video I'm going to be talking about the small and large intestines. And then the third video I'm going to be talking about your accessory organs, your liver, your blood vessels, your pancreas, and whatnot. Also the enzymes. Don't forget the enzymes. For me, the enzymes are the hardest to memorize, so pay attention. Also, uh, if you hear an annoying buzzing sound, that's just a fan. It's, it's annoying. Anyway, let's go to the mouth. Let's get right into the mouth. Your mouth has three different types of teeth. Incisors, canines, and molars. In the front, you find your incisors. They are thin and sharp. Their job is to cut and slice food. Hence the name incisors. In scissors. Behind that, you have your canines. Your canines kind of look like fangs. Fun fact actually, it's named canine because dogs have a lot of these types of teeth. Actually, dogs' scientific name is canine. Search it up on Google. And then behind that, you have your molars. Your molars' job is to mow down and crush food. The, ma the name kind of sounds appropriate for this job since they're big and then, you know. And then inside of your mouth, you have your tongue, which is one of the strongest muscles in your body. Actually, it's completely made of muscle. Your tongue's job is to push food right into the throat. Above your mouth, you have your palate, or as most people call it, the roof of your mouth. You actually have two types of palates, hard palate and soft palate. The hard palate separates your nasal cavity from your mouth. The soft palate is just kind of there. It's, it's fine. And then when we go down into the throat, you have your epiglottis which is the flappy thing that closes up your trachea while you're eating. So food doesn't go down the wrong tube. If it goes down the wrong tube, you could suffocate, asphyxiate, and die. So thanks, Epiglottis, for keeping mankind alive. Anyway, your esophagus is a smooth mus muscular organ that pushes food from your mouth into your stomach. It uses a process called peristalsis. In front of the food, the muscular lining of the esophagus 
relaxes, making the area go like that. And behind the food, the muscle lining contracts, so like that. So basically, it's like it's pushing down the food right into the stomach. In the stomach, you have gastric juices made up of enzymes and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is my favorite thing to say today. I don't know why. Your stomach has folds in it to increase the surface area. Because when you're chugging down a Big Mac and like two large fries, you can really increase the size of your stomach. Fun fact actually, the stomach can grow to two times its original size. That is big. Anyways, I said enzymes earlier, so let's talk about those. In the mouth, your saliva from your salivary glands excrete an enzyme called amylase. It converts amylum into glucose, while in your stomach, I like to use the abbreviations PR, parents rent. <laughs> parents rent. P stands for pepsin, R stands for renin. Pepsin converts protein into peptin, while renin converts carcinogens into casein. And then after your stomach churns and mushes the food and converts it into a paste, it squeezes that thing right into the beginning part of the small intestine called the duodenum. I'll get into the small intestine in the next video, but for now, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you like, share, and subscribe.